Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the world of sentiment analysis to classify comments as either positive or negative. I'll demonstrate how to implement the naive Bayes algorithm and then discuss its effectiveness, highlighting why it may not be the best choice for this particular task. Naive Bayes is a popular classification algorithm, but it has some limitations, especially for tasks like sentiment analysis. For a deeper dive into how Naive Bayes works, I've included a link to an in-depth video in the description. Let's take a look at the dataset I used, which I found on Hugging Face. I've linked it in the description for anyone interested. After cleaning, the dataset contains only 282,000 rows and is balanced for better model performance. It includes a label column with two classes, positive and negative sentiments, as well as a title column, which I didn't use, and a content column, which will focus on to train our model in distinguishing between positive and negative comments. Before we get started, let me quickly outline how Naive Bayes approaches text classification. The algorithm analyzes each word in a comment and calculates the probability that it appears in either positive or negative comments based on the training data. It combines these probabilities to make a final prediction about the sentiment. For instance, if words like love or great are more common in positive comments, the model will predict positivity when it encounters them, while negative words like hate or boring are associated with negativity, this simplicity makes naive base effective for straightforward tasks but also limits its ability to handle complex or nuanced language. Now, I'll work through how I've prepared and trained the model by tokenizing the text and feeding it into the naive base model to see how it handles the sentiment classification. Let's dive into the code. In this project, I'll be using the following libraries and tools. Pandas for data manipulation and analysis, particularly useful in handling data within data frames. Scikit-learn, a powerful machine learning library in Python that provides tools for model building, evaluation, and preprocessing. Train test split splits the dataset into training and testing sets. Count vectorizer and TF idea vectorizer. These transform text data into a matrix of token counts or TF IDF features. Multinomial NB, the naive base classifier suitable for text data following a multinomial distribution, a curse score and classification report used to evaluate model performance. NLTK or natural language toolkit for various natural language processing tasks, stop words, a list of common words like and, the that are often removed during preprocessing, word tokenize splits text into individual words. WordNet Limitizer reduces words to their base form, example running to run, for consistency. And Regular Expressions, useful for working with text patterns to clean and preprocess data. Now let's load our dataset. It contains two columns, label and content, with a total of 282,526 rows. Before training our model, we need to prepare the data to ensure it's well suited for the task. First, we'll drop any rows with missing values, then convert all text to lowercase to maintain consistency. Next, we'll replace all punctuation with spaces and remove any extra spaces, leaving only single spaces between words. We start by tokenizing the comments using word tokenize, creating a new column called tokens that contains lists of individual words for each comment. Next, we remove common English softwares, ensuring that our tokens column now only contains meaningful words. Then we apply a limitization using the word net limitizer to reduce words to their base form, further refining our tokens for analysis. After this, we join the limitized tokens back into single strings in a new column called cleaned content, ready for vectorization, we then split our data into features, x our cleaned comments, and labels y indicating positive or negative sentiment. Next, we split the data into training and testing sets, with 20% of the data reserved for testing to evaluate the model's performance on unseen data, to transform the clean text into numerical format. We use TFIDF vectorizer, applying fit, transform on the training set, and transform on the test set. 
With our features prepared, we instantiate the multinomial ND model and fit it to our training data, allowing it to learn the patterns associated with each level. Finally, we make predictions on the test set and print the classification report, which provides insights into the model's accuracy and performance metrics. The accuracy of this model is 84%, so now let's test it. Let's test our model with a new comment. It's a good video. To ensure consistency with the training data, we first convert the comment to lowercase, we then remove any punctuation, focusing on the words themselves, and clean up any extra spaces. Once prepared, we transform the comment into a numerical format, using the same TFIGF vectorizer applied during training, making it compatible with our model's format. Finally, we use our trained model to make a prediction on this input, printing both the predicted model and the probability for each class. This gives us insight into the model's confidence in its assessment. The prediction for our first example was accurate, likely due to its simplicity. Similarly, our second example was processed in the same way, and it also yielded the correct prediction. Now, let's test the model on more complex sentences to see where naive base may fall short, helping us understand its limitations for tasks that involve more nuanced or layered sentiments. Consider this sentence. It's not a great service. I'm not really satisfied. Surprisingly, the model classifies it as positive, despite the clear negative sentiment. This illustrates a significant limitation of the naive Bayes algorithm. It heavily relies on probabilities and struggles to comprehend the context of the text. In this instance, the presence of negation such as not doesn't significantly influence the model's understanding. This example underscores that for sentiment analysis tasks where context plays a vital role, naive Bayes may not be the most suitable choice. So, we can recognize that while naive base provides a quick and simple way to classify sentiments, it struggles with complex sentences and contextual nuances. Our tests highlighted its limitations, particularly in understanding negations, making it less suitable for nuanced sentiment analysis. As we continue to explore this file, we will need to consider more advanced models that can effectively capture the intricacies of human language.